Calaroga Shark Media. Hi, welcome to Entertainment Plus. I'm your host, Mark Francis. Celine Dion made a breathtaking comeback performance at the 2024 Paris Olympic opening ceremony on Friday night, closing the event with a jaw-dropping act on the Eiffel Tower. The Canadian singer battling the incurable stiff person syndrome proved she still got it 28 years after her Olympic debut in Atlanta. Reflecting on the iconic moment Celine shared on X, I'm honoured to have performed tonight for the Paris 2024 opening ceremony and so full of joy to be back in one of my very favourite cities. Most of all, I'm so happy to be celebrating these amazing athletes with all their stories of sacrifice and determination, pain and perseverance. All of you have been so focused on your dream and whether or not to take home a medal. I hope that being here means that it has come true for you. You should all be so proud. We know how hard you have worked to be the best of the best. Stay focused. Keep going. My heart is with you. Celine looked incredible in a shimmering silver gown as she performed Hymn à l'Amour, originally sung by French music icon Edith Piaf. The song, first released in 1950, translates to Hymn of Love in English. Viewers were left emotional, with one writing on X, Celine got my ass crying, hashtag opening ceremony. Another fan exclaimed, at last, Queen Celine Dion is back and she sounds fantastic. Hashtag Olympics, hashtag opening ceremony. Celine's performance was particularly poignant given her recent health struggles. In 2022, she disclosed her diagnosis with stiff person syndrome, a neurological disorder causing muscle stiffness and spasms. Despite this, Celine had vowed to return to the stage even if she has to crawl. Meanwhile, Lady Gaga fans were unimpressed with her Olympic opening ceremony performances. She suffered sound issues during her rendition of Mon Truc en Plume, the Bad Romance star stunned in black leotard and white feathers, but viewers criticized the American star's performance. One fan penned on X, great performance from Lady Gaga. Shame the French forgot to do a sound check beforehand. Another wrote, Lady Gaga performing to no large audience in a stadium, but on a platform next to the river. The sound is awful, sound just getting lost in the vast open space rather than being reverberated around a stadium. Some viewers were more critical, with one stating, very famous French artist, uh, hashtag Lady Gaga, with a, um, I don't know what that performance was, but must have been her worst ever, hashtag Olympic Games, hashtag Paris 2024. Another quipped, Lady Gaga ain't even effing French. This is like if Bad Bunny sung while the Olympics were being held in Colombia. Despite some disappointment, others loved her appearance. One ex-user wrote, at Lady Gaga is sensational in the Olympic opening ceremony. Wow. Another fan gushed. It's amazing how it's a well-known fact that Lady Gaga is very talented, but she still manages to take it to new heights and show the world that she's capable of even more. Her entire performance was breathtaking. Lady Gaga kicked off the party by performing to 320,000 excited spectators crowded on the banks of the River Seine. Her show-stopping display opened on a gold staircase with an array of feather-clad dancers holding pom-poms that concealed the headliner's face. From the San Diego Comic-Con in Marvel News, Robert Downey Jr. will be making his return to the Avengers universe in two new movies, but not as Iron Man. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige confirmed that Downey Jr. will play supervillain Victor Von Doom, also known as Doctor Doom, in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Downey Jr. made a dramatic entrance at the Comic-Con in a Doom costume surrounded by replica Doom bots before taking off his silver mask and revealing his face to shocked fans who gave him a standing ovation. He told the crowd, New mask, same task. What can I tell you? I like playing complicated characters. The two films will be directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, the brothers who directed Avengers Endgame in 2019. Avengers Doomsday is set to premiere in May of 26, followed by Avengers Secret Wars in 27. Doctor Doom is one of the Marvel's most iconic supervillains and the arch enemy of the Fantastic Four, known for being a genius-level scientist with a tragic backstory. At the same convention, Jennifer Garner attended her first ever Comic-Con to promote Deadpool and Wolverine. However, she found herself stuck in an elevator, which she documented on Instagram. Hey guys, we're stuck on this elevator. I could use a Wolverine. I could use a Deadpool. I could use someone, Garner shared in the first of seven Instagram selfie clips. As time passed, Garner continued to update her followers. Yeah, we're looking for some stairs, she added with a bit of worry to her voice. Thanks for having us here. My first Comic-Con, she said with a touch of sarcasm. Later, she joked, 
don't cut the blue wire is what we're hearing. By the time they had been stuck for over 40 minutes, Garner began to lead a chant of 99 bottles of beer, and shortly after, one of the other people in the elevator was able to call 911. In TV news, AMC has given the green light for a third season of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. The upcoming season will be set in Madrid, Spain, with shooting scheduled to begin in August. Norman Reedus shared, I couldn't be more thrilled to announce a third season and to be working side by side with the brilliant Melissa McBride. Season two is some of my favorite storytelling of this series. Watching Melissa shine along with our brilliant cast and crew has been one of my fondest memories playing this character. Scott Gimple, Chief Content Officer for The Walking Dead Universe, expressed high hopes for the third season. France made Daryl and Carol's story into an epic poem with what we found there. What's to come in Spain may even surpass it. We're so damn happy to bring the audience more of the terrific two alongside new compelling characters in a yet unseen, beautiful, horrific corner of their broken world. HBO released a new trailer for The Penguin, the upcoming eight-episode DC series starring Colin Farrell. The show, premiering on September 19, follows the events after 2022's The Batman. Farrell appeared at Comic-Con via virtual call from Macau, where the new trailer was unveiled. The teaser shows Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin, attempting to take hold of Gotham's world of crime. In one scene, Oz is seen slow dancing with his mother, who reminds him he promised her a beautiful life. He assures her, I'm working on it, Ma, before stating in a voiceover that the world isn't set up for the honest man to succeed. More entertainment in just a moment. In music news, Ronnie Wood of the Rolling Stones attended his son Tyrone's wedding to Faye, daughter of Iron Maiden bassist Steve Harris. The ceremony took place at London's Marylebone Old Town Hall with family members in attendance, including ex-wife Joe Wood, daughter Leah and son Jesse, with his wife Fern Cotton. However, Jamie Wood, Ron's stepson and Tyrone's half-brother was noticeably absent due to a family fallout. A source said, Ronnie and Jamie have grown further and further apart, and it's sad because he grew up alongside his stepbrothers and sister. The fact that he was nowhere to be seen at Tyrone's wedding just shows how the rift has never healed. Lastly, Madison Square Garden gifted Billy Joel a 78 Triumph Bonneville motorcycle to mark his final show in his decade-long residency. The bike is custom-painted with piano keys, Joel's signature, and the MSG logo on the gas tank. Comes with a helmet painted with every date he's played at the venue. Joel concluded his record-breaking run of 150 shows at MSG with a performance that included tributes from Jimmy Fallon, a guest spot by Axl Rose, and audience members including Bill Clinton. The Piano Man owns dozens of bikes, some of which are displayed at his motorcycle shop, 20th Century Cycles, in Oyster Bay, New York. Joel has spoken about a previous motorcycle accident, saying, There was a big thing in the press. Will he ever play again? I was never worried about that. I play rock and roll. I'm not Vladimir Horowitz. I wasn't good to begin with. You play with your elbows if you have to. It's rock and roll. And there you have it. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple, or the app of your choice. Leave us a review or some stars if you're enjoying the show. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Entertainment Plus. Entertainment Plus.